Good morning, my friends, and welcome to our very first story time of summer reading. Yay! I'm so excited to be back here with you guys. So this summer we will have six weeks of story time. So story time will happen every Wednesday at 11 o'clock, and we are going to be doing something very special this summer. So this summer, the theme of summer reading is imagine your story. And by imagining our stories, uh, we get to think of all sorts of stories that we love to read. We, like, we get to think about stories that we might like to play pretend with. Um, so we're gonna be reading lots of fun um, books, maybe on your own, because I'm not gonna be reading them in story time, but I'll put lists together for you guys to read so you can read at home. But one thing that we are going to be doing in our story time right here um, is we are going to be telling fairy tales. So can you guys think of any fairy tales that you know? Let me think here. So I know a fairy tale that I know is Rapunzel, that's one. Can you guys think of any fairy tales that you might know? Go ahead and say them out loud. Perfect, yes. So we are going to be visiting a new fairy tale every single week. And they're fairy tales from all over the world. So some of them you might know really well, and some of them you probably have never heard, which is okay. That's why we're gonna read them, um, tell them together in this story time. So our first story for summer reading is a story that I think you guys know. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple of clues because I would like you guys to guess what the story is. So my first clue is that it has a little girl in it and she has long yellow hair. Can you guys think of stories that are fairy tales? I have a little girl that has long yellow hair. Hmm. Let's go on to our second clue. So our second clue is that it has animals in it that make the sound grrr. They don't actually make that sound in the story, but these animals often make kind of a grrr sound. Hmm. So a little girl is in the story who has yellow hair and animals that go grrr. Hmm. I'm going to give you a third clue. So our third clue is that it has the number three in it a lot. Hmm. Let's think. A story that has a little girl, animals that go grrr, and the number three is in it a lot. Hmm. Do you guys want to take a guess? Go ahead and take a guess. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's see if you guys are right. So our story this week is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Okay, so how I'm gonna start this story time is the way a lot of fairy tales start. I'm gonna say a special phrase, a special sentence that lets you guys know that I'm going to start. So the, the phrase is, once upon a time. Can you guys say that with me? Once upon a time. And that's how you guys are gonna know that the story is going to start. So you guys ready? Once upon a time, in a little house in the forest, there lived three bears. There was a papa bear, a mama bear, and a baby bear. And they lived in their cozy house in the woods and they were so happy. One day, they decided that they wanted to make some delicious porridge. And so they made the porridge, but then when they went to try it, they realized that it was too hot to eat. So they had the idea to go for a short walk through the forest while the porridge cooled. So out they went off to have their adventures in the forest to come back later to eat their food. So while the bears were out on a walk, a little girl was named Goldilocks was also walking through the forest. And as she was walking, she smelled something in the air. Mmm, it smelled like porridge. And Goldilocks realized that she was super duper hungry. 
So she followed her nose to the little house in the woods that belonged to the three bears. So she went inside and she looked around, but nobody was home. But what she did see when she looked around were three bowls of porridge. The first bowl was a big bowl and she went over, picked up a spoon and stuck a big spoonful in her mouth and she went, oh, hot, this porridge is too hot. So she put that one back. Then she went to the medium sized bowl and she stuck her spoon in, she put a big spoonful in her mouth and oh, this porridge is too cold. So Goldilocks didn't eat that one either. She put that one back. Now she went to the third bowl, which was a little bowl. And again, she stuck in her spoon, put it in her mouth. Mm -mm. This was just right. So Goldilocks ate all of that porridge up. So after eating her snack, Goldilocks decided she wanted to explore the house. So she went into the next room and she found three chairs. One, two, three. So she went over to the first chair, which was a big chair, and she sat down and she thought to herself, hmm, this chair is too hard. It is not comfortable at all. So then she looked at the medium sized chair and thought that one might be better. So she walked over and sat down and immediately squished in. Oh, Goldilocks thought this chair is too soft. It wasn't comfortable at all. So she got up and she went to the small chair and had a seat. This chair was just right. So Goldilocks sat back and as she was sitting back, she heard a crack and she fell to the ground and next to her, the chair was in pieces. She broke it. Feeling a little sheepish, feeling a little shy, she decided to go upstairs. So she walked up, up, up the stairs and walked into a room that had three beds. It had a big bed, a medium sized bed, and a small bed. Looking at those beds, Goldilocks felt herself give a big ooh, yawn. She felt tired all of the sudden. So she wandered over to the big bed and jumped in. Ugh, Goldilocks thought, this bed is too hard. I can't take a nap here. So she got up and she jumped over into the medium sized bed. And she thought to herself, ugh, this bed is too soft. I can't take a nap here. So she went into the small bed and jumped in and thought to herself, ah, this feels just right and immediately Goldilocks fell fast asleep. So while Goldilocks was upstairs taking a nap, guess who came home? Who came home? The three bears, that's right. So the three bears came home and they noticed something was not right. So Papa Bear came home, Mama Bear came home, and Baby Bear came home and they immediately went over to their bowls of porridge. Papa Bear grabbed his bowl of porridge and he took a sniff. <laughs> he said, someone's been eating my porridge in a big gruff voice. Mama Bear went over and grabbed her bowl of porridge and she took a sniff. She said, <laughs> and in her medium sized voice, she said, someone has been eating my porridge. And then Baby Bear grabbed his bowl of porridge and he took a sniff and he said, someone's been eating my porridge in his little voice and they ate it all up. <gasps> so the bears immediately decided to go look in the other room. 
So Papa Bear looked at his chair and he said in his big gruff voice, someone's been sitting in my chair. And then Mama Bear went over to her chair and she said in her medium voice, hmm, someone's been sitting in my chair. And Baby Bear went over to his chair or what was left of it and in his tiny little voice, he said, someone's been sitting in my chair and they broke it to pieces. So now the bears knew they had to go upstairs. They had to see if this person was still in the house. So they walked up the stairs and Papa Bear looked at his big bed and in his big gruff voice, he said, Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And Mama Bear went over to her medium-sized bed, and in her medium-sized voice, she said, Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And Baby Bear, to his surprise, when he went over to his small bed, he saw a small girl asleep in it. And in his tiny voice, he whispered, Someone's been sleeping in my bed and she's still here. What? So Mama Bear came over and Papa Bear came over and they all looked at the little girl who was asleep in the bed. And this little girl, she oh, suddenly yawned really big and she gave a big stretch and she opened her eyes and she looked around and she was surrounded by bears. She got so scared that she jumped out of bed, ran down the stairs, out the front door, and the three bears never heard from Goldilocks again. And that is the end of our story. So Goldilocks and the Three Bears um, and a lot of other fairy tales are actually really great for little ones um, because there's a lot of repetition, there's a lot of um, similar phrases that come up in the story, and um, it helps little ones make predictions about what's going to happen next. Um, it helps them actually commit the story to memory, so that way they can continue to tell the story. Um, and then it's always fun when they recognize um, parts of that story in other books. So I will actually have a a um, list of books for you guys that are based on Goldilocks and the Three Bears. They're retellings of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Um, and I really encourage you guys to try reading those at home. My personal favorite is uh, Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs by Mo Willems. That one is probably my favorite, um, but other authors like Jan Brett has done great retellings of it. Um, there's retellings where Goldilocks and Baby Bear go to school together. So I'll put that list um, together and you guys can go ahead and check them out and borrow them from the library. And hopefully you guys have a lot of fun having your own story time based on Goldilocks and the Three Bears at home. So um, our activity for this week is actually for you guys to make your own bowls of porridge. And if you guys picked up our activity bag this week, um, you will see that there are two recipes for por or for oatmeal or porridge. Um, uh, that you guys can try making at home. Uh, if you guys wanted to share some of your favorite recipes that maybe you guys make all the time, uh, please feel free to share those with me and I will post them on our Facebook page and other social media pages. Um, and then that way people can try making their own porridge at home and hopefully Goldilocks doesn't come and eat your porridge and hopefully three bears don't come and eat your porridge too. <laughs> so we will see you guys uh, next Wednesday um, at 11 o'clock for our story time. and. Next Next week's story time is actually going to be a story from Ghana in Africa. And make sure that you guys pick up your activity bag so that you can follow up this story time with a craft, just like we would if we were having story time in the library. So thank you so much for joining us and I will see you guys next week. Take care!